guys, welcome back to the Not Only Carrots cooking show here on YouTube. I'm Leah and today I'll be making a chocolate ice cream alternative that's not only vegan, but it is actually chocolate free. It's made with carob. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, to begin with, you're gonna need a strong blender. I recommend a Vitamix, an Omni Blend, a food processor, or a Thermomix. It's not vital to have the Thermomix, but it does make it a lot easier, and I can make this ice cream in about one minute flat using the Thermomix. All right, let's get straight into it. The thing I love about this recipe is it has heaps of bananas in it, and they are really sweet and really delicious, and I pretty much just load up my Thermomix with lots of frozen bananas. So. I'm gonna snap them in there, all the ice going over the bench, that's a fine. Eh. Some people freeze their bananas all chopped up, but I find that they're easy enough to snap. And what I do is I buy bananas in bulk, probably normally buy the box full, and then I wait for them to get really nice and ripe, and then I freeze big bagfuls. Eh. And then whenever I want a smoothie or make some ice cream, we've always got some there. And my kids even enjoy eating them frozen as a little treat. They really love frozen bananas. So depending on how much you want to make, of course, you don't need to put quite as many bananas as this, but we really like this ice cream, so the more the merrier. I'm gonna, I'll leave a tally. You'll see a tally of how many bananas I put in down the bottom. I'm not counting at the moment. <laughs> Usually it's about eight pretty big bananas to fill the Thermomix up, and it's about two and a half liters when it's done. Okay, I'll just put all of these in today. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna clean my hands, I'll be right back. All right, along with our frozen bananas, we're going to add our flavoring. In the place of chocolate today, we're actually gonna use carob powder. Carob is grown in a pod, and it's actually naturally really sweet. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of carob powder to our bananas here. And carob is also really high in protein, which I love, and it's caffeine free, so it's perfect for little kids and for any adults who want to avoid the caffeine that's in normal chocolate and the theobromine. And we're going to add three tablespoons of a sweetener. Today I'm using Rapidura, which is evaporated cane juice, but you can actually use maple syrup or um, rice malt syrup, and if you're a vegan, you could use honey as well. And to top that off, we're going to use some soy milk. It doesn't have to be chilled, but mine is today. Make sure you give it a good shake. And we're going to fill that up roughly an inch from the top of the bananas. So I'll weigh this in today just so we get a rough idea of how much I'm putting in. But yeah, it's usually just a little under and that way you get that really delicious ice creamy soft serve consistency, which I really love. Okay, so what did I get today? 745, so about 750 grams, which is about three cups full. All right, I'm gonna pop that lid on and we're gonna encourage the blending with the spatula. If you're using a strong blender, you could use your paddle or spatula as well. And we're gonna whiz this up on speed seven and a half. That's actually feeling pretty good. Every now and then it's good to take the lid off if it if you're not too sure, oops, <laughs> and double check that there aren't any big lumps of bananas left, but this is definitely made. Look at that. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> so good. Okay. All right, so grab a, a glass, guys, and we're gonna just load up our delicious vegan carob ice cream. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. It's gonna taste really good too. It actually brings back memories for me from the, the olden days when I used to have McDonald's thick shakes and I love the chocolate thick shakes and it actually is quite reminiscent of a McDonald's thick shake. So here it is guys, this is the consistency. These taste really yummy as well. And if you prefer a really deep, rich flavor, you can add another tablespoon of your carob powder in there, plus another tablespoon of the Rapidura. Generally, for me, I find one to one is a good ratio with carob and Rapidura. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, guys. Make sure you check out my Sultana cookies recipe because what my husband loves to do with this yummy ice cream is crumble over the top of this, either an Anzac biscuit or a Sultana biscuit, and it gets a lovely crumbly, delicious flavor in there as 
as well as the ice cream. I hope that you'll check out the other videos I have here on the channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Please leave a comment and let me know what your favorite vegan ice cream is as well. All right, guys, check out my cookbook as well. Any support you give me here on the channel is much appreciated. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.